problems. Yeah, but you know how that goes, Dave, well, right? I, I mean, understand. once you get a tax going, but it that goes relates up, 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 up. to the other side of the equation. Social insurance is a myth. There are no trust funds. There's just confetti paper of 2.7 trillion that we're going to have to levy on taxpayers someday to pay off those so-called assets. Social insurance is a huge myth. Nobody earned so their what social would you security. Do? What would you do? I would radically means test it. I would cut it by a couple of hundred billion. I would reduce the number of people who are affluent. And re you know, there's 55 million people getting social security or Medicare today. Reduce that dramatically. Would you grandfather it in because a no, lot of people no, say no right no, away. You can't because we're broke. You know, all, when you hear these. So how do you tell people to say, I've been paying 30, 40 years of Social Security? And because this even if they pay. Bitch well, is taking it away. Because I'll be that uh, SOB. Because the, everyone who is taking it right now after 30 years didn't pay for what they're getting. The payroll tax was never close to what would fund on an actuarial basis. When you basis. get it, that it takes three years for you to get everything back that you put eh, in over Three or four, right? Medicare right. especially. So what I'm saying is, if we get rid of social insurance, radically means test uh, Medicare and Social Security, we can cut hundreds of billions. Then defense, it's crazy, it's 670 billion. Go back to what I call the Eisenhower minimum. 400 billion in t today's dollars, inflated dollars, is what Eisenhower said was enough in 1960 when we were up against the Soviet Union. And we should say it's 600 if it was built up to that point after Be Iraq 400. and Afghanistan. Yeah. So we, we, we could revert Go back, back to, to the pre that. Yeah. So, so Republicans don't want to touch that. Democrats don't want to touch the entitlement programs. And here we be. And, and, and then you have Obama saying we need 100 billion of green energy. That's pure boondoggle. We don't need any green energy loans, guarantees, subsidies, all of this nutty stuff that's been going on for solar and electric cars. Well, what would but, David Stockman have the government do? Uh, the government ought to provide minimally for the defense and a foreign policy that is non-interventionist and stays out of the affairs of the so rest like of the world. you're like a libertarian in that regard. Uh, in that regard, I absolutely am. Look at the last 40 years. Everything has been a fiasco. Vietnam, are you kidding? Afghanistan, what are we doing there after 10 years? Iraq was a total waste of lives and treasure. So the point is the military industrial complex is part of the problem and it needs to be shrunk. And social insurance supported by organized labor and the liberals is the other side of the spending problem and it needs to be radically changed. And if we don't get at the military industrial complex and social insurance, we're kidding ourselves. The budget is just going to roll on. The deficits are going to grow. And then what? Because I, I, as much as I admire at least some of your gutsy <laughs> stands, I don't agree with them all. <laughs> I don't see any of them being done. So then what happens? Well, I think that's why I say the budget is a doomsday machine. Uh, we're facing a permanent uh, fiscal cliff of this 8% of GDP gap. Uh, I don't see it shrinking easily. I see a constant political battle. Every year there's going to be a debt ceiling crisis. Every few months what there's going to be... What do you think of this taking it out of the Congress's hand, having the president just uh, raise it? Uh, well, you know, you can't have a dictatorship. Uh, you uh, basically are going to have to have a bad blow up in the financial markets. You until think that's they, coming? Yes, I do, because when I blame Bernanke more than anybody else for this whole mess. Providing the easy money. When he says you can borrow money for three years to pay the federal deficit at 30 basis points, that's a rounding error. To Congress, that's right. zero. Why is anybody going to stand up to social insurance, the military industrial complex, the ag subsidies, which are ridiculous, this bill, the $60 billion boondoggle they passed for Sandy right. uh, uh, relief? Who's going to stand up to that stuff when the great man in the Eccles building, which happens to be where the Fed is located, says, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll keep the interest keep rate the uh, at rock down. bottom. I'll yeah. print uh, the money. I'll buy the bonds. Until we have a house cleaning in the Fed, until we get rid of these lunatics who want to have interest rates at zero, nothing is going to happen on the budget. All right. Well, <laughs> you already hit my appetite, which okay. probably was your intention. Um, but good, good stuff to think about. Well, we don't do it, do we? Nope. Uh, David Stockman, one of the smartest budget guys I've ever known. Of course, I haven't known that many. <laughs> Seriously. Very good. Thank you. Good to be here.